Good morning, Mandy. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just doing a quick virtual tour as promised on our 2016 uh, Holden Colorado, the Z71 here in front of me, uh, with a bit over 100,000 Ks. It's an absolutely awesome truck. Can't wait to take you through it. A um, bit of an idea who we are. I know you are just obviously down in Townsville, but we're a Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, so we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. So I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. You can even see our Toyota and Lexus showrooms up the back there, our service departments, the whole works. Uh, this is probably the bigger of our two yards, but we got another one up at 77 Mulgrave Road as well. And we are absolutely jam-packed at the moment, which means we get some pretty awesome cars just like this Colorado. So look, going to get stuck straight into it. The whole idea is basically just to be as honest as we can, and um, any little marks, the service history, then give you a real good suss through the whole car. So uh, we've also got this one in the Trailblazer as well, which I'll uh, send through a link as well. So starting from the very, very front here, not too bad as we go around. you obviously got your parking sensors right across the front. Uh, we've got four of these guys for the Colorados. Find a little bit of a scuff just there. Only very sort of light, but just a little bit of um, scuff just there. Otherwise, very clean across the rest of the wheel arch here. Very tidy. Obviously, being a Z71, we do get these black uh, alloy wheels. Looking very clean. Trying to see any sort of gutter rash, but it's looking very tidy through that one. Now, I'll kick these wheels for you so you can see the treads in these guys too. So, absolutely stacks of tread left in there. And of course, you can see right through the suspension and everything. The shockies, the wishbone, very clean, very, very well looked after. Doesn't look like it's spent a lot of time off road at all. So, as we come down, very clean across the front, past that number plate there, like I said, the parking sensors over this side as well. Heaps of tread left on that passenger side, just want to show up underneath there too. And to the rest of the grill as well. So, very tidy over this side here. Tiny, tiny little bit of fading across the actual plastic there of the uh, Z71 plastics, but they all do it to it as the whole works. So no chips or cracks or anything like that across the um, the windscreen there too. Just want to quickly show you something as well. So with these keys, we've got just the one key with this one, so obviously the central locking. Oh, wrong key. That's the trailblazer. We'll try this one. So we've got the central locking on that key. So if we lock that twice and then hold that button there, so you get the remote start with this car, so that's better. Lock it twice. So that'll actually start the car for you too. So the idea is that the car is definitely locked um, by doing that, that motion twice. And then, so basically it'll start the engine, get the engine warming up, it'll get the aircon going. But as you see when we get, jump inside, um, the actual displays and everything like that won't be on. So you can't physically drive the car or do anything with it. The gear shift is locked, but it does get the engine warming up for you. So the distance on that's actually pretty good but you can turn it off from here as well. So I'll just quickly take you through the rest of the car. Uh, obviously the passenger side, looking very clean across the alloys there too. Stacks of tread left in these guys. You can see the little indicators just in there. And again, like I said, even through the inside. Been very well looked after. Down the body of the car there as well. Super clean through those lines. Just down that passenger door up on the front here. Give you a quick suss underneath as well. Snapping this one up for you. Of course, we're going to unlock the car. Trying a little bit of fingernail marks on the inside of that one. Just some people grabbing the handles with rings on their fingers or long fingernails or anything like that. Not so bad across the um, door card there. Just a little bit of sort of markings again there. Just some people's fingers and stuff. Uh, the entryway is very clean. You obviously got the bill and compliance place just there. So being the Z71, we do have the leather seats, full leather seats as well. So very well looked after here. Of course, got the Z71 stitching through the headrest. And across that dash as well. Previous owners left a dash mat in here, so all that kind of thing, things we just leave in there for you. Um, we do have the, the tow bar tongue here as well, but we just take them out because people tend to hit their legs on it walking past. So we just leave them inside the cars. So service history. So, Mount Gravatt at 1,400 kilometres, 2017 uh, for the first service, 12,000 Ks. Same place, same place, 26,000 Ks, so it's ups. 42,000 Ks, 2019. 60,000 Ks at 2019. It's all that same southeastern side of Queensland. Just trying to get the fingers in there. 77,000 Ks, 2020. 93,000 Ks, 2021. And 109,000 Ks 2027. And 
and they when they come to us so we get all the oils and filters and stuff done as well so coral motors that's us so literally just had a service as well so that way everything on the yard sitting here nice and fresh so literally just had that one done for you so i'm very clean through the rest of it we'll keep cruising around though let's quickly, quickly pick up on the roof there Obviously, with the Z71 again, you get the big wings across here with the hardcover lid as well. Uh, all lockable there too. So I'll show you that once we get down to it. But just through the rest of those. Again, the lines down the uh, passenger side there too. And extremely clean across all these rims. And even the inside there, you can see the uh, spare tire underneath the back. Looking brand new. A few releases on this side here as well. So that should be released for that inside. Again, door cards look very clean on this one. We've got central locking out, sorry, central locking. We've got the uh, child locks in the back here as well for the kids. Just a tiny little sort of scuff. It's not if she scratches or anything like that, but just a little mark there. A little accessory plug down the bottom there too. Of course, you've got your argument separated in the middle here, so good for the kids. It's got a little strap up there on both sides. So you pull this one, I'll leave that unlocked. You pull the other one, that'll come forward for us as well. So I'll show you that once we jump around. But very tidy through the, uh, obviously the, um, the lining there as well and the back of these seats as we cruise around so not too bad across the roof of the uh, tailgate there so all lockable through this one here a couple of little sort of little scuffs little chips things like that but not too bad so that's all on struts as well so obviously being the painted inside, we've got a few little uh, scratches just from literally the tray being used. Once you start putting a bit of boxes and stuff like that in here, of course you're going to do the same thing. So a little bit of wear through the actual tray itself, but that's of course what they're there for. You've got a big strap here too, so sure people like me can actually reach that. Um, we've got the, you can sink that down as well. Got enough room here, beautiful. So again, like I said, a little bit of wear across the actual um, tub itself, but you've got all this lining on the inside here too. And of course you can lay it down the track, get all the spray on uh, lining and stuff like that, which is real, real good for them. Close this one up for you. Again, just that little bit of marks on there. Bring that one down. Beautiful. So pretty clean across the actual gate itself on the outside. Just a little sort of hairline one there. Uh, you got rear parking sensors right across the back there too. And of course that tow ball tongue underneath. And there's that spare tire again there as well. So very clean down the driver's side now. Just an awesome red in the sunlight. Looks so good. So all four of these wheels are pretty much just a tiny bit of a, a scuff just on that one there. But other than that, pretty damn good. Again, stacks of trade as well on all four tyres. So let's take you into the, uh, obviously the driver's side rear door now. Not too bad through there. Again, just a little sort of hairline marks. Oh, they've done a good job looking after this one. So like I said, you just lift that second strap, got to do that on both sides, and we've got three child anchor points hidden behind here for you too. So nice and well looked after again. Very tidy. And you've got a little strap just under both sides as well, so with that little hook there, so that can actually hook onto the headrest if you want them up permanently. Um, but your jack and tools are hidden under there, and on the other side you just got the same thing with a little bit of storage as well. So I just click that down into place. Tiny little sort of mark just there and a couple little sort of fingernail marks just on the um, on the driver's side and behind that handle but not too bad otherwise turn the rest of that door for you and up on the roof jump inside the driver's side here for you so I just want to quickly before we jump in I'll lock that up we'll start this up Because I want to show you what the actual display does inside when that's running. So once we unlock the car, we can jump in. Now being the Colorados, these windows, the front two windows do uh, drop down when you open them. It's the same way an Esky works, but basically relieves the pressure. So you can open, close that door, it's going to open and close every time. So once we jump inside here using that remote start, no displays on here. Can't shift the gear stick or anything like that as well. And no displays here too. And the steering wheel is locked as well. So you can't drive the car until... You put that in the ignition and turn it like normal. So now everything's gonna turn on with us. And now we can use the car. 
So really awesome feature, but like I said, it gets that aircon going, so it cools the car down, warms the engine up, just a great feature. They do it right, right across the Commodores, absolutely everything. Um, I, I just absolutely love it. So as it sits right now, 117,000. 894 kilometers, uh, no engine lights or dash lights or anything like that, of course. Uh, we've got your Bluetooth controls up on the left-hand side here and all radio controls and that kind of thing. Otherwise, your wipers are all on the left like normal. Headlights are over on the right-hand side here, so the high beam and blinkers are all operated from there. Otherwise, you've got these little menu buttons to go between their little uh, sub-menus, tire pressures, remaining oil life, um, A and B trips, all that kind of stuff from uh, that little display down the middle. Uh, up on the right hand side here we've got cruise control and we've got forward collision mitigation here too so if someone in front of you basically jumps on the brakes the car will brake to react for you um, down the right hand side we've got the actual uh, headlight controls so we've got the automatic setting at the moment so they'll turn on and off as they need to otherwise you can go parkers and headlights from there and like i said the blinkers and high beam are all up here as well so mirror controls are all there for you get the left and right side of the car and adjust the mirrors from there central lock and the window controls are down in the middle as well uh, fuel releases just down here for you uh, bonnet release is just over the other side, so I'll pop that so you can see out there. I'll see a little notification just let you know that as well. Massive big touchscreen here, like I said, you put it in reverse. We do have a reverse camera back there. That's those little sensors picking up exactly where that car is, uh, telling us not to point into it. And we've also got a little display down there telling us how close we are to the vehicle behind us as well. So they'll beat once you, you start getting close to an item, they'll beat faster and faster and faster until they become a flat tone just like that. Otherwise, massive big screen with a big um, touch button so you can jump between everything down here. That little home button's gonna bring us to this display every time. So again, we've got a little satin ad that we can jump in. The AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, AUX, the whole works. Um, Aircon controls are just below that as well. So the fan speed's on there. Temperature this side, and of course, where you want it coming out of. Um, lane departure is on this one too, because I know you were asking that as well. So that's your lane departure controls there as well. Uh, traction control, he um, hazard lights, downhill descent. So it's basically like cruise control for coming down hills. And you can turn those parking sensors on and off as well with that one there too. Um, because you do have the leather seats and it is a Z71, you do get the heated options for the front two seats as well. So you've got two settings for those. So great for keeping the pizzas warm, but also good for um, sore backs and things like that on long drives. Uh, we've got a couple accessory plugs here and a couple blank switches there too. So if you want to go putting light bars or any of that sort of stuff on the car, you don't have to go drilling holes in the dash. You can simply just use those ones. Full up drive options are just down here, so you don't have to go locking in hubs or anything like that. Simply just put the car into neutral, flip that across. It's going to flash a few times. Up on here, it'll say full drive shift in progress. And then up on that little right-hand side there, you can see the little orange indicator just there, showing that we're now in full drive. So you'll see that's now illuminated as well. So same thing again, you can go to full low. So that's for the hectic full driving, super high revs, uh, all your electronic stuff. So your traction control will turn off. And we're now in full low as well. Nice and easy. Um, don't have to go jumping out of the car or anything like that. Uh, so that's for the beachy hill climbs kind of things. But you want to be patient with it. Just let it do its thing. Wait till, if it's still flashing, let it in purpose. Let it do its stuff, and then go across the back to two wheel drive. So really nice and easy. If you ever find that that keeps flashing, put it into drive or reverse and drive in a straight line for a couple of meters, and it'll just let everything catch up. Uh, handbrake there. Cup holders in the middle. USB, AUX, all in through the center there. Uh, very, very well looked after car. You've got adjustable seat belts on both sides, drop down handles on the whole way around except the drivers, and of course the uh, solid handles on the front two ones as well. Airbags across the roof, in the seats, in the dash, and in the steering wheel. And incredibly, incredibly well looked after car. So I'm going to leave this running. I do want to show you another bonnet before we finish up. You want one last look through there. So being a Z71 as well, we've got these little daytime running lights as well, so as soon as you turn the car on, they will be running too. You've got the 2.8 litre turbo diesel motor on here as well. So very, very well looked after. Full service history. And that's him. So, guys, thanks again for your inquiry. And um, yeah, can't wait to hear feedback soon.